Hello everyone, this is JuvaRule77 coming at you with this video review of Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise V-Icon. Uh, this is uh, the Decepticon uh, drone, which as you can see in the show are multiple of this one. And it's a very nice car. It's a, uh, I don't have the first edition, but uh, I know it's a, a little bit smaller than, than the first edition. But it does compensate with his transformation. Now this is his pursuit car mode. It does come with this uh, weapon, which is a snap-on blaster cannon. You can take this off, and you have there uh, two pegs, which can stick right there. So you have uh, the weapon in front of the vehicle. And this is not uh, a black vehicle. This is a a, a dark purple, but uh, but a very very dark purple uh, vehicle. Uh, and and it's very nice painted, it's very shiny, it does have the windows translucent, uh, the front end and the side windows. It does have the Decepticon symbol there, painted in, in purple. And it's a very nice, very nice vehicle. Uh, it rolls very well. It does have these two ports, so you can put the weapon right there. It has a translucent headlights. Very, very nice. Really awesome vehicle, it's very hard to find this one, but still, I have right here mine. So to transform this guy, uh, the first thing you need to do is to unfold, release this part section, which is the door and the wheel panels there. You can see that's the way it has to come. And then you have, grab here the spoiler and just bring this whole section to the front. As you can see, it's all this shell here which is the hood uh, the wind the the front windows uh, the roof and the back as the spoiler there uh, this is what is what is very fantastic about this figure that all these vehicle parts uh, are folding into the legs uh, you separate this and you bring the spoiler inside fold fold like this fold fold and fold and just bring uh, this piece up and fold this down tap this because it does have a small peg right there which will connect there uh, on the roof there you go and you have already transformed uh, both legs just bring this panel a little bit to the side here uh, release here uh, the door to form his arm release here his fist we'll do the same here very simple transformation and a very nice figure I just pull up here the back of the car you have there the revealer head and put this uh, bumper on the back like this and there we have uh, Vicon in robot mode and as you can see it's a very very nice transformation far more superior than the first edition that because the first edition does have a huge backpack oh, all the vehicle parts uh, the roof uh, the hood and the back parts of the the car as, as well as the spoiler are all falling the back of the vehicle on the first edition uh, uh, on this on the robots in disguise it's different as uh, you can see that every part of the vehicle is all falling the legs which is uh, a very ingenious uh, transformation uh, and a very cool one and we have here the weapon which you can put right here on the port or you can use it as a gun on the hand or you can hide the hand and use uh, these two pegs that we used to uh, put the gun uh, on the hood and put them right there. There you go. And there we have uh, an arm weapon. Very nice. It's very, 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 very nice uh, figure. No wonder this one it's out of stock in every store. Toys R Us, Walmart, Target. Uh, online you you can't find uh, this uh, figure uh, cheaper it's 
thirty dollars or more to get this one on eBay or Amazon. It's very hard to find at a cheaper price. Uh, you can I, I, I pay actually on eBay uh, twenty five dollars for this one on a bit. Uh, and that's because I couldn't find uh, this figure on my local store and it, it was turning into a frustration so I decided to get this one on eBay before it went more 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 expensive uh, here we have a size comparison with knockout and here we have sound wave and here we have star screen there you go for Decepticons these are the only Decepticons that I have right now uh, I'm about to purchase uh, Megatron so I will soon be reviewing that one as well so it's a very nice figure highly recommend uh, if I can get my hands on another vehicle I will get uh, probably another one to have uh, at least two vehicles to form my small army of vehicles there. very nice Highly recommend. This is Jubaru77 signing off.